If you're looking for fun ways to entertain your one to two year old toddler indoors, then you're in luck. In this video, I'm sharing nine easy indoor activities for toddlers that will help you keep your one to two year old entertained. My name is Jess. I'm a mom of one, a former early childhood teacher and the creator of the Innovative Mama. I'm on a mission to help moms of little ones navigate the world of early motherhood. So here you'll find videos on pregnancy, parenting and early educational activities. So definitely be sure to join our mom squad by clicking the subscribe button along with the little bell icon. This video is part two of a two part series. So make sure you go ahead and check out part one after this for even more ways to entertain your toddler indoors. Now let's check out my nine activities that will help keep your little one occupied on cold and rainy days. Our first activity is a post-it pull and stuff. You just stick post-it notes onto a wall or any other surface you'd like to work with. Then instruct your toddler to pull them off and stuff them in some sort of box or container with a smaller opening. We used a reusable wipes container, but a tissue box would work just as well. For the next activity, I just took a Velcro strip and stuck it to the wall, then stuck some pom-poms to the strip. I tried to have my son pull them off, but he just liked going over and sliding his hand down to knock them all off and then proceeded to say, uh, uh. which he loves doing right now. So that was my honest real life experience with this activity, just to be transparent. At one point, he did try and start putting the pom-poms on the Velcro and pulling them off one by one. But it's important to note that your child will have certain activities that they aren't super into at the time, and that is perfectly okay. At this age, their attention span is very short, like as short as one to two minutes. So they can be distracted very easily. If they don't seem to take to an activity at first, just try it again at another time or when they're a little older. I love making sticky walls with clear contact paper. There are so many fun ideas out there for things that you can build with them, but we just kept this one simple since it was my first time doing a sticky wall with my son, so we just used pom-poms. He absolutely loved this activity and was sticking the pom-poms on and taking them off repeatedly. He also loved feeling the sticky texture of the contact paper. I definitely recommend outlining the contact paper with colored tape all the way around because it will help guide your toddler on where to put the items. We only did the top and the bottom and my son kept going off the paper, trying to put the pom-poms on the wall and he eventually stuck his hand behind it and ripped it off the wall. Yeah, we're entering that destructive stage right now, if you can't already tell. I love sensory activities for young children. I talked about using sensory bags and bottles in part one of the series and now we're gonna talk about sensory bins. Sensory bins are so amazing. If you're not sure what sensory bins are, they're simply small tubs filled with different objects that appeal to children's senses. Usually touch, sight, and sound, but sometimes smell if you use scented items. I just started getting Luke into sensory bins. My parents got him this Ikea flea sat sensory table for Christmas and we absolutely love it. For this activity, we did a Five Little Ducks sensory bin I started by playing the song Five Little Ducks and singing it with him. Then I introduced him to the bin, which had five rubber ducks, a little water with two drops of blue food coloring and two droppers for him to transfer the water from one bin to the other. He absolutely loved this and played in it for a good half hour. I was pretty shocked at how long it held his attention. I put a plastic tablecloth underneath the table to keep things a little tidy, but honestly, he really surprised me with how neat he kept things. We talked about vocabulary words during this activity, like duck and water, went over colors that we saw, and even practiced counting. I'll definitely be making more sensory bin videos, so if that's something you'd like to see, please let us know by giving that thumbs up button a click and telling us in the comments below. Next, we have balls on paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. I'm gonna be honest, I think this is better suited for children closer to two rather than one. My son really wasn't super interested in this activity, and while he did attempt to put some balls on the rolls, he enjoyed knocking everything over much more, which is fine. This activity is great for concentration and hand-eye coordination as well. Up next, we have a Q-tip push. You just take an old egg carton and punch holes in it and let your toddler push Q-tips through it. You can simply leave it like that or for a little more of a challenge, you can turn this into a color matching activity. So I just stuck some colored dot stickers on the carton and wrapped them around the Q-tips. 
My son is just starting to get into sorting, so he was able to match some of the colors with our help, but he loved pushing the Q-tips into the holes. Let's face it, a lot of activities involving toddlers can get messy. While I welcome the mess as it's part of learning, I also do love mess-free activities. Bubble wrap sensory painting is so fun. I actually featured this in my DIY sensory activity video, so you can go check that out after this, but you place some paint in between two pieces of bubble wrap and then tape it down to whatever surface your child is working on and have them use their fingers to move the paint around. If your toddler is walking, you can also have them walk barefoot over the bubble wrap to put a fun twist on this activity. This homemade ball drop was so fun. We took an old diaper box and cut it up to make this little ball drop contraption. Once you have your box assembled, just have your child drop the balls through the holes as long as it keeps them occupied. Again, if your child is older, you can turn this into a color sorting activity by color coding the holes at the top. A clothespin drop is so simple and great for fine motor skills. I just took some clothespins and clipped them around a metal bowl. Then I had my son pick them off and just drop them in the bowl. Toddlers will love the clinking noise that the clothespins make as they hit the metal bowl. Definitely go check out part one of my indoor toddler activity series if you haven't seen it yet. I will link it up here as well as in the description box below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any fun and educational activities for your little ones. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.